hello creatives welcome once again to my channel thank you so much for joining me again today we'll be sh i'll be sharing with you how i made a very lovely veil fascinator headband and these are the materials i use the alice band the net my trimmings satin and the clothes warden then i have my glue gun so these are my materials and the measurement i use is length of 13 inches and weight of three inches and then i went ahead to curve the two ends of my satin and the warden so now i want to join the three together so first of all i'm going to be placing the right side of my satin inside while the wrong side will be at, at the upper side then i'm going to also place the warden on it then i'll pin it all around and as well i'm going to be sewing it all around remember that the measurement i used is length of 13 inches and the wideness of 3 inches so i cut out this measurement on two satin fabric and one warden so this is what i used to cut out this so after pinning, I'm going to go ahead to sew it all around. So now I've sewn it and I'm going to be, it's ideal to mark, make this mark. If you want to turn anything that has a curve, so that after turning it over, it will be relaxed, you know. So I'm going to make this cut all around before then I'm going to open the middle and then turn it over so you watch what I am doing so here now I'm going to be cut making an opening so I will cut it ensure that you are cutting just one layer of your fabric just one layer of the satin you can just cut a little bit to ensure you are not cutting the two at once and then you open it up very well after which you turn it over okay and when you are done turning it over you can iron it so that it will be very flat you know so now right now I'm turning it over please if this is your first time or you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so and if you enjoy my tutorials i have other free contents on my channel if you enjoy my tutorial please kindly like, like my videos thank you so much for joining me so and i will also encourage that you stay till the end so that you see all the steps i used in achieving the very lovely veil fascinator headband so now i'm still trying to turn over my this uh, thing that i've sewn you can con call it an extra layer that will be added on my alice band i will show you all the steps in this video it's very easy to make and very easy to understand as well so you stay tuned and keep watching so right here I'm done turning it over I just want to trim off this uh, little piece of thread that is fraying so I will also go and iron it then I will bring it back okay can you see so I've already ironed it so the next thing now is to find the center or your midpoint and then you mark it you can use a chalk to just make a mark at the midpoint and you also go ahead to measure your Alice band and also make a mark at the center Okay, so this is the center and I'm also going to make a mark right there now I will go ahead to fix the extra layer on my band and I'm going to use 
my glue gun to apply some candle gun on the extra layer and then I will go ahead to stick it on my headband. I hope you are following and I hope you are enjoying this video. For any question at all, please drop it in the comment section and I will respond as soon as possible. So right now I'm going ahead to stick all the other parts, all the other sides of this layer to my band. So right now I'm almost done sticking it on this. I am almost done sticking it on the Alice band with my candle gum. So the next step will be how to attach my veil net on this band. How to attach my veil net on the band. And I will also show you that soon so here we are going to find out the measurement of net of the net material that will be able to be to go for this very head uh, fascinator so all you have to do is to take the net to your face and fix it this way so that you know the measurement to cut out I've already cut out mine so you do the same for yours you can use your face to find out and next thing is to to tie the two ends of the veil net you are going to use your thread and tie it so i'm going to be repeating this on the other end i'm going to tie it as well So when I'm done tying, what I love to do is also to apply my a little gum on that end just to make it stick well and stick together. So I'm just going to apply a little gum on it and then help it to stick together. And then I can cut it off if it's too long. I can just trim it off a little bit and I'm also going to do this for this other side please if you are enjoying this if you find it valuable please don't forget to like my videos and if you are yet to subscribe please kindly subscribe to my channel thank you so now that uh, the next step is to attach the two ends to my Band. and you see what I'm doing I'm attaching one of this end to to one part of the band and I'm also going to take the other end and attach it to the other side of the band and then what I will do next is to pleat the other remaining material on the top part of my band so that is simply how I'm going to be attaching this next on my band. I hope you are following. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section and I will respond to you. So right now I'm also trying to attach the other 
end of this net to the band and if you notice i'm attaching it as where the extra layer that i added stopped that's the point i am attaching it to so right now let me go i will go ahead to pleat at the center and then i'm also going to pleat on the side and then i will hand stitch it for to make it to stay on the band i hope you are enjoying this tutorial because i am also enjoying teaching you <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for following if you have any question please kindly leave it in the comment section you can check the description box as well to connect with me on all other social media platform i am on instagram as naked collection and also on facebook as naked collection and if you join this tutorial from my st or amazon platform please i will appreciate your review if you find this valuable please go ahead to leave a review of my store thank you so much for stopping by and also learning so can you, i hope you are paying attention on what i'm doing so i will go ahead to also pleat by this side and stitch it Wow, so I am done here. Take a look at this headband. You can actually rock this headband just as it is. You can wear it to a wedding for your bridal, for your bridesmaids. You can actually rock it just this way. Okay, but we'll still go ahead to attach our trimmings on top to make it more lovely. So, right now, I'm just cutting out the shapes of the trimmings i'm just cutting it out and after that i'm going to be using my glue gun to apply the candle gun on each of them and stick it on the on top of the net or rather on the headband on the alice band so you can see that this thing is very easy to make and uh, well detailed and uh, understandable so if you enjoyed this tutorial, I still plead with you that you like this video. Leave me an encouraging comment and if you have any question, please also leave it in the comment section and I will respond to you. Okay. So thank you for joining me in this tutorial, in this interesting tutorial on how to make a veil fascinator. This is mostly used for, uh, for weddings, for bridal trains, or the bride using it for her wedding. So you can actually create this if you're a bride. You can make this if you have a wedding to attend. You can make it in any color of your choice and wear it to the wedding. So thank you and i'm going to be taking my time to stick all this trimming on it and there we go we have a complete beautiful and a lovely fascinator